stay in the holiday spirits with a, a lovely bartender and a lovely group of individuals helping out tonight. So thank you, everyone. Um, we're just about to get started. Uh, Crystal's just about to pop out here, but as a quick moment, um, if you wouldn't mind lowering the volume, I, I know we're all having such a great time, um, and there will be plenty of time for us to continue the merriment and sharing of the holiday spirit uh, after our, our performance, uh, which is just about to get started. But um, as, a, as a brief thank you, thank you to everyone who who is here tonight to be able to bring in the festive season. Yes. So um, Crystal's just about to pop out, but I wanted to thank everyone for being here. We have a, a lovely accompanist. We have a lovely uh, team recording tonight and live streaming. So actually right now this performance is being live streamed. And without further ado, Crystal, take the wheel. So 
getting our holiday invitation out this year because, funny story, last year, the morning after the party, I woke up and found out I was pregnant. But, good news, good news, good news, it worked out beautifully, beautifully. And we were thrilled to welcome Adeline Charlie Isley to our family this year and to Ivana Crystal Isley, who's been the most amazing big sister. We couldn't be prouder of her, you know. When you think back on the year gone by around the holiday times, I think we often reflect. And we think about the things that went extremely well, and we think about obstacles and maybe things that we had to overcome. And there's a song that I love that always reminds me that even when you're faced with insurmountable challenges, sometimes the way around them is over them. Yonder 
The hard part is my name is Caesar, but it's spelled C-E-S-A-R, like Cesar. It's spelled, my parents are Cuban, by the way. I'm from Miami. I'm loving Michigan, by the way. We usually don't swim up this far. 
Um, nice place. I wish we had, I would tell anybody up there, they're gonna get that compass and they're gonna come up here. Um, but yeah, my first name is uh, Cesar, but when you read it, people tend to go like, oh, Cesar. And I feel like I need a mustache for that name. I need a, like a cape, like a new magic, like Cesar. So yeah, my name is Gross, people say Garcia, which I've gotten used to. I used to get like really upset, like, oh, it's Garcia. Especially in Miami, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many Garcias. And, um, and I'm trying to accept, accept it because I looked into it, there's only like about like 1,200 Garcias in the world, and there's like millions of Garcias. And what that means is that uh, my ancestors didn't pillage as hard as the Garcias did. That's basically, they were much more tranquil. Uh, Phil Donahue is here. Nice to have you here. That's not Phil Donahue. Uh, okay, all right. Cool. Uh, I was starstruck for like a good like half hour in this whole party. Like, oh. Now that I'm up here, I'm like, oh no, it's not. Huh? No, no, no. My phone's in my pocket. I'm looking up right now. Um, I am. Uh, my wife is here. I'm a father. I have a four-year-old little daughter. And uh, are you doing that because of my daughter or just something else? Oh, okay. oh no. I thought, oh, look at her. She didn't know. Um, so, yeah, I have a four year old little daughter. I uh, became a father recently. I'm, um, I'm like, well, like I said, I'm Cuban, so Hispanic, and I'm in my 40s. So I just had a kid in my 40s, which is rare for Hispanics. That's kind of. Uh, for a while, I thought I was shooting blanks, but no, I'm okay. So, um, so yeah, I have a four year old daughter, and I think I'm kind of grateful that it's the best time to like raise a daughter, raise a woman, uh, to, to better world today, a lot more opportunities. We have right now, any football fans in here? Right? Do you guys, huh? Go blue, that's right. Do you know that we have now three female referees in the NFL? That's true, yeah. yeah. The first one, go blue. The first one, is that Tourette's? I don't know. Um, the, first, the first one was in uh, 2015. Her name was Sam Thomas. And she was the first female referee in and so sad, she had all this like like pushback, like, oh, a woman in the NFL, oh, can she do the job? I'm like, can she do the job? Her job is to blow a whistle every time a man makes a mistake. <laughs> She'll be fine. She'll be fine, guys. She's the last time of, of training. Right? If one guy has one foot out of bounds, she's gonna know. We won't need instant replay or none of that. I say, we'll see a lot of time, I say make all the referees females, right? Right, it'll be more inclusive, women will show up with like, like full locker t-shirts when like, I'm with her, you know? <laughs> he likes that one. She's, she's done the whistle a couple times in her life. Like, all right, now I'm gonna go to my pocket and see what was next. Oh, you know what, I was talking about, um, Again, I'm kind of like a child of the, uh, I'm in my 40s, I'm a child of the 80s. So I grew up with gangster movies. Uh, most kids now grew up with superhero movies. I grew up with mobsters, which I thought that's how you're supposed to grow up. Um, so, um, and I, I did acting. I am in a movie called Chateau Vato. It's on HBO Max, which now they're changing their, 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 their roster, so check it out now. I apologize in advance, but hey, I made it. I'm uh, starring Paul Rodriguez. I'm also, any, anybody have Netflix? Yeah. Netflix. On Netflix, there's a show called, um, oh my God, it's, it's uh, Bloodline. So it's a show called Bloodline, season two, episode three, four minutes in, don't blink. I play a cop. Uh, spoiler, I only have two lines, but because of my two lines, one of the main characters gets like tased and beat up, so I have like an effect on the season. So it's two minutes, but I have like a big, a big impact. Um, oh, you're ready, okay, cool. I'm just like trash talking here. Uh, cool, um, so she's ready to go. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, anyways, I'll leave you with this. 
So, I grew up with gangster movies, and um, so I, I started acting, but I grew up with Robert De Niro, Pacino, those guys. Anybody a fan of those? Yeah. Right? What I love about De Niro, though, is that he's all about, like, less is more. Like, like Robert De Niro's all like, That's pretty much it, right? That's pretty much. And like the guy is so amazing. He can do like a whole scene, an intense dramatic scene with just like three lines. Like a bank robber. He could be like, put the one in the back. Put the one in the back. Don't press that button. Don't press the button. Lie down. Lie down. Put the one in the back. Don't press that button. Lie down. Put the one in the back. Three lines. That's all that means. That's amazing. All right, guys. My name is Cesar Gracia. Thank you much. Uh, and welcome back. Funny story for you. So when I was in New York, fresh out of college, and I was auditioning for different things, I, I got called in for the Rock Cats. And I made it through the singing audition, I made it through the dancing audition, and then I'm standing in the hallway getting ready to go out where they line you up by height to figure out how the kick line is going to look. And this woman comes running down the hall and she says, Crystal, Crystal, she said, um, I didn't get your height. Can you go ahead and back up against the wall? I'm like, sure, no shoes, please, okay. And she measures me and she said, oh honey, she said, you're not 5'5". Five five. I said, but I was with my shoes. And she said, you're gonna throw off the entire kick line. The Rockettes are organized in a very special way. And it's, I, I'm sorry. And so in front of all the girls in the hall, I'm standing there and I think, you know what? I don't wanna be in a kick line anyway. So this, in honor of that, is my rogue Rockette.
appropriate music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 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 I don't know.